Michelle Sam, and this is Hesperating Fashion. Today we are at Suburban Secrets, located in the heart of Lakeview. Today we are here at Suburban Secrets with the store's owner, Lisa Cipriani. The store recently opened in November 2011, and you are here at the ripe old age of 23 as a store owner. What made you decide to open up a store? Um, well, my entire family is in the antiquing business. It started with my grandma and, you know, the 1970s, she actually started an antique club and oh, kind of awesome. trickled down from there where my family members actually started selling antiques. And I was actually the one grandchild out of everybody that clung to vintage clothing. And I thought it would be a great idea to open up a store since I just have a passion for fashion in general. So the name of your store is Suburban Secrets. Yeah. How did you come across the name? It kind of reminds me of Desperate Housewives and very classy and sophisticated 1950s, 1960s woman. Yes, well, you're actually right. Um, a lot of people come in and ask, well, why is it called Suburban Secrets if you're in the city, you know? Yeah. But <laughs> I, you know, grew up watching shows like Desperate Housewives, and I currently watch Mad Men and Betty stuff like Draper. That. Yes, I know. <laughs> But I watch those shows and you see, you know, a different side of the 1950s portrayed in Mad mm -hmm. Men. That's yeah. the kind of idea I was going for is, you know, this housewife that seems to be perfect and have the American dream, but she also has a secret. So mm -hmm. I wanted it to be kind of a play on that and just to be a really fun atmosphere here. And I also grew up in the suburbs and it was kind of the same idea with mm -hmm. people that everyone kind of had a secret, although they tried to have this perfect lifestyle. So. So that's the story behind that. What would you say is your style aesthetic? Do you tend to lean towards the 1940s, 1950s, or towards the 60s or 70s? Well, everything in the store is from the 1950s through the 70s. I try to stick with more classic pieces from the 1950s with cinch waistlines and big skirts. And then, yeah, I love those. Yeah, and then um, in the 1960s, you know, they had the really cute mod dresses mm -hmm. with geometric patterns and, you know, cleaner lines. So one of your catchphrases is, it doesn't cost much to look expensive. Correct. That's one of the things that I love about this store. It's very, very affordable, but you get quality stuff. Yeah. Can you discuss how you're able to make the clothing affordable for good quality? Yeah, well, usually when we go out buying, we try to get stuff, you know, as cheap as possible without having to hike up the prices too much. You know, we wanted this to be a store where anybody could get something, um, you know, so we'd like to think that we have a little bit of something for everybody. Average price, probably 20 to $25 as far as clothing goes, but you can also get like a purse for as cheap as 6 or $7 and jewelry for $2. After looking around Suburban Secrets for a great summer outfit, you couldn't just choose one. So here are a couple outfits that we have on the mannequin, as well as a couple I will wear later on. The first one I guess we'll talk about um, is this one. It's a 1950s cute little picnic dress. Um, yeah, it's definitely good for the daytime. Puts me in the mind of Alice in Wonderland. Yes, it's adorable. Um, it has this really cute lace collar right here. And then as you see, my favorite is, you know, the cinch the waist. Cinch waist. Yeah. Definitely a Hesperidian staple. Yeah, definitely something that you could wear during the day as well as nighttime. You know, if you're going out to a picnic or just out and about in town. Yeah, definitely. I also wanted to show you this really cute piece from the 1960s. It's actually an evening piece, and as you can great see, lines. definitely. And the color. Definitely, it's great for summer, and as you can see here, there's two little panels that kind of open up to a bright colored mini dress. and um, Very sexy. I know, right? Okay. And this right up here is all hand beaded, this gorgeous rhinestones and little pearl bead work up here too, so. Yeah, and the material is quite lightweight. It's very, very good for the summertime, as well as for a music festival. Chicago is very well known for their music festivals, and you see lots of people rocking the 1970s, and at times 1960s look at these festivals. And if you wear this, guaranteed you'll probably be the best looking person there, yes. as well as unique. Michelle 
Shell looks absolutely adorable and head to toe 1960s beach gear with a brightly colored uh, little bathing suit with a high waisted waistline. Yeah, I really, really love this outfit, especially the sunglasses. The sunglasses, sunglasses are so cute. Just uh, the side of them is like amazing alone by itself. And I like that the bathing suit is sexy, yet it's very modest. You can even rock it as a romper if you're brave enough to you know, go out on the streets and not have the wind blow. <laughs> yeah. Definitely A plus. Love this swimwear. We definitely love this dress here at Hesperidian because cinching at the waist, it's somewhat modest, but also shows off the shape as well, and it has very good detailing it as well. It has a great satin design all throughout the dress too. Yep. As well as me being a lightweight material, perfect for the summertime to wear in the evening or during the day. Thank you so much for having us in your store. Thank you so much for being here, it was fun. We're wrapping up some things and I managed, I managed to find great finds ranging from furniture, accessories, to clothing for, at super affordable prices. Was that a catchphrase again? It doesn't cost much to look expensive. Indeed.